What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Severe Career Mode in FIFA 21 and this is episode number 13. And in this episode we are going to be starting our Champions League journey in season number 2. Remember we won it last year against all odds and now we will start back up here today. Additionally in today's episode we're going to get through the rest of September which will include multiple Champions League games. A big one against Athleti, Granada, and then probably get through a couple more games here and end around late to mid-October. So we're going to get through a lot of games in this one, and if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to like, subscribe, turn that bell icon so you don't miss out when I upload. Check out the Twitch in the description, Discord in the description, and let's get into this one. So we start off this game against Fernbach, and they are currently fourth, and we do have... Athleti over the weekend, um, but our team is mostly fit right now And what I'm gonna do is do a visual sim for this and kind of maybe rotate the players a bit more throughout the game to save them For the weekend We're working the ball nicely here and Gabriel Jesus is picked out by Luka Modric and we make it 1-0 back here And here we go. We're looking for a second goal and Kristian Porto has chipped the keeper to make it 2-0 and we have a nice lead here um, did the game just glitch? If you saw me talking earlier, like, the game was frozen, and I'm pretty sure the game just froze. I don't know what just happened, but I'm pretty sure the game just completely froze. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, we're looking for more here. Here's Gabriel Jesus, and Gabriel Jesus gets himself a brace. Luka Modric just his second assist of the game, and we are cruising here. Could we look for another one in this first half? And we do. Alejandro Papu Gomez makes it 4-0. Oh my gosh. So we end up winning 4-0. Uh, the second half, nothing changed. And I jumped to the simulation. And it's a very comfortable win to start off our Champions League campaign. So our next game here is against Atletico Madrid. And we do have a couple tired players like Alejandro Papu Gomez, Jesus, Kunde, Limer, Pereira, Modric, and Porto from the midweek game but I gotta go with my strongest team here so here we are back in Seville as we are a lot and we are going to be facing Atletico Madrid I believe in the, uh, the fixture last year that was in front of our fans I think that's the one that we blew 5-5 early in the season or we blew a 5-2 lead and made a 5-5 in like 10 minutes Hopefully that doesn't repeat in this one. Oh yeah, they're in our penalty box. They're actually still going. Joao Felix has a chance. Atletico Madrid trying to work this around. Where's Luis Suarez? Suarez still has it. They still might have a chance here. And Joao Felix makes it 1-0. I can't... Oh, I thought I might have gotten the ball there with Diego Carlos, but I couldn't. Oh, that's nice passing there from Gabriel Jesus to find Alejandro Papu Gomez. And it's back to Gabriel Jesus! And it's the deadly connection striking again to make it 1-1. And I will say Alejandro Papu Gomez has not been great in this game at all. You can tell he's definitely aging. He's one step, if not two steps slower than last season. But he did the job there. And Gabriel Jesus does what he does best, scoring goals. He did it all last year. He's done it again this year. He's already found his fourth goal in La Liga. And we tie it up 1-1. to Diego Madrid looking for a second one here. There's about 10 minutes plus stoppage time for both teams to look for a winner here. And nice defending there. I believe Oliver Torres to win the ball back. And now here goes Oscar. Oscar breaking. And he finds Christian Porthu, who is also breaking. And Christian Porthu plays in the middle. Oliver Torres! And it's offside, it's gonna seem. You can see the flag far post. Why is Oliver Torres still celebrating? And it's offside. That was our chance. We definitely don't want um, last season to haunt us. And maybe we can do what they did to us last season in this game. As we're working it around. We're looking for something. We're in stoppage time. I have no idea how much stoppage time they've given us. But they've given us some time to do something! And we have scored in the 92nd minute. Oh my goodness and there it is we beat Atletico Madrid 2-1 thanks to Gabriel Jesus goal and a last minute Kristian Porto goal and that is what we need really to help us get a nice spark in La Liga and start getting back to where we were last season and beating a big team like this in front of our fans is how you can start 
So since it's still early in the La Liga season, you see that we are currently 7th place and if we win this game against Granada, we can go up to 6th, so we're right back in the mix of things. But it's not an easy game against Granada we have in the next weekend and they are currently 6th place and they are definitely a quality side. So here we are, it looks like we are on the road for this one and we are traveling in some rain as we take on Granada and they are a quality team and once again, I think we were actually 6th place um, before teams played their 6th match week. So basically these games are just important for us to like not have a terrible start to La Liga. And yeah, the game's underway here and let's hopefully build off of that big win against Atletico Madrid. Here's Granada on the attack here. They're looking for something here. Ricardo Pereira's kind of been beat there, but Granada are on the edge and inside of our penalty box right now. They're looking for an opener. Hopefully we don't give it to them. Still Granada and Diego Carlos does well until he loses the ball. And Granada make it 1-0. I mean, you know how many times that's happened last season, this season. Diego Carlos, that, that's his trademark. He wins the ball back. He gives it right back away. And then the other team scores again. Oh man, this is getting worse. They're looking for a second goal here, Granada, and they're just slowly wasting the time away. I'm trying to get the ball off of them, and I just cannot, man. This, is, this has really been a frustrating game, and I just cannot do anything here, and Granada could be looking for more, and I'm just trying to get it away. We cannot even get the ball away. I don't know what's wrong with this team, man. And Granada are looking for more, and they make it 2-0. In my opinion, that's so undeserved. We get so so many good chances in the game. They had absolutely nothing. But they took their chances. And it's not Luis Suarez who scores. It's another El Suarez. And that's just really disappointing. Our frustrating season in La Liga continues. And I don't, I don't know what it needs to be fixed. I, I don't know if we just need to be more clinical or what. But something's got to change for the better. I don't know what's going on in La Liga right now. But we are just not doing well at all. Either way, we got to focus on... The Champions League, where we play our second um, game of this episode in the Champions League today. And this is actually going to be the first one that I actually play. The other one was a visual sim. And we do have a couple tired players, but additionally, Alejandro Papagomez is suspended for picking up a yellow card, I guess, in the last Champions League game. And I guess the Champions League final. I, I, I don't know how he exactly got suspended. But basically what's going to happen is I think I'm going to put in Oliver Torres for him. So here we are playing our first Champions League game of the season in front of our fans. And it's probably the biggest team, Leicester. I mean, Leicester are a big team. They did win the Europa League, but they're not as big as some other teams maybe. But with them being the biggest team in our group, I think definitely we have a kind of easier of a group, I would say. But we definitely cannot underestimate Leicester, but a big one here would help a lot. Just for the whole Champions League scenario of getting first, but also just, oh man, La Liga right now is rough and we need to find something that will make us not feel like that. Okay, here's Oliver Torres. Can we look to maybe create something here? Gabriel Jesus feeding this one for Luka Modric. It's got to be a goal, man. This has to be a goal. Luka Modric. I, I, I don't know what to say. It's Oliver Torres. Looking for Luka Modric here. We gotta look to create something here. Oliver Torres playing in Gabriel Jesus. And Gabriel Jesus can't even score. But we still might have it here with Lucas Ocampos. Lucas Ocampos still has it. And Lucas Ocampos gets past a couple players. Shrugs them off. And he makes it 1-0. And oh my gosh. That goal gives so much relief. Nice job there by Lucas Ocampos to find Marco Sacuna. I'm looking in the middle here. All the way on the other side. A Christian Porto. And that is how you cross, and that is how you score a goal. Nice header there from Christian Porto. Beautiful cross from Marcos Acuna. And we double our lead here against Leicester and make it 2-0. Here's Oliver Torres. And Oliver Torres is going to find Gabriel Jesus here. And Gabriel Jesus is going to look for more from this team. And Gabriel Jesus makes it 3-0. And this is how Sevilla play. So the game comes to an end and we comfortably beat Leicester City 3-0. Feels good after a tough loss against Granada. So hopefully maybe this can go some confidence and we can go back to La Liga and feel better. So just a quick monthly update on Youth Academy, which is what I think I'm going to do for now on. 
Um, we have a bunch of players in here ranging from all different positions. Uh, the main guys we want to talk about here is Yusei Carrera, and he doesn't have the greatest potential, but he's already 64 rated and just 15 years old. We also have the Schultz guy and Ibrahim and Zhu. So hopefully, you know, we can get some more Youth Academy players um, onto this team. We do already have Javi um, Valverde, but then also we have like some players loaned out and things. Either way, this next game against Levante, I know we are. 10th uh, place in La Liga and stuff, but you guys want 8 to 10 episodes of the season and things and I am since we did prove that we can beat Atletico Madrid in this episode and we just comfortably beat Leicester City I will start off with a visual sim for this one with our first team Oh, we've given it right to us here and Gabriel Jesus gives it to Christian Porto and Christian Porto continues a pretty good season so far and it's 1-0 to Sevilla Oh, maybe another chance here for more, and Gabriel Jesus chips the keeper, and we have made it 2-0 in quick fashion. We're looking for more here, and Christian Porthu's got himself a brace, and we lead 3-0 here already. Since we do lead 3-0 here, what I'm going to do is simply jump to the result, and we win 3-0 against Levante. Feels good. So, I mean, what this tells us is FIFA knows that our team is really good, and we can definitely get through these teams easily. It's just... I guess my playing skills is just not good enough. I don't know. So actually, we were able to get an offer for Ronnie Lopes, one of the players we were looking to sell in the transfer window. We get to him, and, you know, in the middle of October. But finally, we do sell him. And a quick update on the squad: there are a few players I'm looking to sell. You know, in January or at least by January. Um, Ronnie Lopes, he'll leave in January. Still looking to sell a Dreesy. Um, Bernal is actually going to go on loan, and I might look to sell Fernando or something like that. But either way, let's turn our squad focus to this game against Getafe. They are 5th in La Liga right now, and we are at 11 points. We're still 4 points back from a Champions League spot, but there's 31 games to go. So hopefully we can build up on a form from the last one. I'm going with the same team as last time that we beat Levante 3-0 with, and I am going to play this one, and hopefully... We can get a win. Here we are facing Getafe on the road here. A little bit of rain in the night time. And it's the big team against Getafe. One of the teams in the Europa League spot right now. And like I said, we're just three points back from them. And four points back from a Champions League spot. Which, you know, you kind of expect us to already be in. But we kind of had a rough start to the season. So hopefully we, um, off that Levante win. And even the Leicester win in the Champions League. We can look to make it three in a row and beat Getafe. Here's Luka Modric. He finds Lucas Ocampos. I'm going to look to play this one all the way to Christian Porthu. And what a header from Christian Porthu. He had a very similar header, I believe, against Leicester. And he's done it here against Getafe. He's quietly had a very, very good season for us. Nice play here to start the second half. Christian Porthu is going to go for goal. And it's a good save from David Soraya. Here's Gabriel Jesus. Oh, nice ball there to find Alejandro Papu Gomez. And they strike once again. Gabriel Jesus finds Alejandro Papu Gomez. And he's got a decisive second goal here as we double our advantage in Getafe. Getafe are looking for one back here. Oh, that's actually a nice ball to find Cucurella. And Cucurella tries to cut back, but good job there by our defense. And maybe we can look to break here with Alejandro Papu Gomez. I see a Christian Porthu going way down this right-hand side. And I try to play back Alejandro Papu Gomez. Maybe I should have cut that for Gabriel Jesus. And, well, Getafe are technically still in this. And that's the end of the game. We beat Getafe 2-0. Clean sheet. Nice win on the road. Hopefully, this can be a sign that our momentum is slowly, gradually getting better in La Liga with back-to-back -back clean sheet wins. So after that nice win in La Liga, we find ourselves playing Club Brugge just three days later in the Champions League. And we are at the top of our group right now by three points, and Club Brugge are actually last with zero points. So I am going to quick sim this road game here, and... We get a 2-1 to one win here, Lucas Ocampo scoring, and then Suso grabbing a winner in the 85th minute. Good to see. So our next game here in La Liga is against CD Tenerfire, Tenor, ah. Our next game in La Liga here is against CD Tenerife, and they are actually ninth place, but they're a newly promoted side, and we are 8th place, not 8th place, sorry, in 8 games, we're 5th place right now, and we're just 1 point back from Champions League. I am going to look to uh, quick sim this game, I am going to make one little change here actually actually you know what no i was thinking to make a change but i decided i was going to stick with the team we're going to quick sim this one we are at home for this one and we get a nice three nil win we have gabriel jesus alejandro papu gomez scoring and jesus gets a brace for himself 
Why not try to quick sim one more game here against Huesca and we are away on this for this game and they are 17th place right now. Same exact team. They're just only slightly tired and we get another win here 2-0. Lucas Ocampos and Gabriel Jesus scoring the goals. So that is going to be it for this episode. I can say that the first time this season I've been able to look at the little standings here and see the top of the table. We are 8 points back right now from Real Madrid who have not lost a game. They have 9 wins and 1 draw. We are in the top 4 but it's kind of a similar spot to where we were last season 10 games. We are currently 4th place. And it's going to take a while to get to Real Madrid, but we are just one game back from all the other teams. Because, I mean, we were struggling at the beginning of this episode, but look, now, October, we literally just got through all of October, and except one game, and we won five in a row. We're on a win streak of six games, and we've only lost twice this season. It's just we've had a couple draws, and here and there but either way in that next episode episode number 14 we're going to get to this valencia game and probably get through all of november which includes a big game against barcelona and a couple more champions league games and if you guys are enjoying the series make sure to drop a like subscribe all the subscribe like the content like the video if you like it because that is what it's for check the twitch in the description the discord in the description to stay up to date and that's going to be it for episode number 13 and i'll see you guys on the next one Buh bye bye